ready, sea level hat yoga. We're bringing you a class. My name is Andrea Hatton. Happy to be with you this afternoon. Justin's going to be practicing. I'm going to go off camera so that you can hear my voice a little better. But thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful practice. Let's begin with Pranayama Deep Breathing. Start with your feet together so your toes and ankles are touching. Interlace all ten fingers underneath the chin, thumbs with the throat, shoulders nice and relaxed. Root down equally through your feet. Firmly engage your legs. You're squeezing, you're hugging your thighs, your glutes, your belly in. Focus your eyes one spot. Little exhale, prepare, and begin. Inhale, slowly lift your elbows. Suck your stomach in, stretch up as tall as you can, filling up your lungs to your maximum, and then fold it. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back. Loud, H-A, ha, sound. Exhaling all the air out of the lungs. Palms come together. Elbows touch away from your chest. Inhale, close your mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Feel the breath. Hear the breath in the throat. So the nose is just the passageway. Try to use the throat and hold it. Exhale, elbows stay up. Slowly push your head back. Keep your chest tall and lifted. Draw your belly in and squeeze out every last drop of air. Nothing left when your elbows touch. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale, head up. Six, five, four, three. Weight slightly back to the heel. Spine stays straight. Elbows touch. Good. Inhale, slowly. Stomach into pressure with your whole abdominal wall. Suck in your belly as much as you can. Stretch up tall. You're trying to see your rib cage if you're looking at yourself in the mirror. Exhale. Slowly head goes back. Tighten your seat muscles. So squeeze your thighs. Squeeze your buttocks tight. Draw your belly in and push the air. Squeeze out every last drop and hold it. Inhale slowly. Synchronize your head and your arms with your breath. Try to use that full six count so it's very mindful. Exhale, relax the neck and shoulders, knuckles stay glued to the chin, gentle pressure there to guide your head back. Look back with your eyes, way back, spine stays straight, and elbows touch. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it. Exhale, head up, six, five, four, chest up tall, push the air completely out, cleaning out your lungs. So good for the lungs. Inhale. Still rooting down nicely through the feet. Engage your thighs. Kneecaps lift. Stomach in. Stomach in. Stretch up. Exhale. Clear out your lungs. Detoxing the body here right off the bat. Go through that empty feeling at the very end. Elbows touch. And two more. Inhale. The leaper. Lungs are very elastic. Work to stretch your lungs to improve your lung capacity today. Open the lungs. Open your ribcage on all sides. Exhale. Seat muscles tight. Touch your elbows. Hold it. And last one. Inhale. Try to make this just a little deeper, a little fuller than every breath so far. Expansion of the lungs. Oxygen into the body. Nourishing your body. Taking one more sip at the top. Exhale, all in air. So slow. Elbows touch. And then relax your arms down to your side. Swallow a couple times. Relax the shoulders. Second set. Again, interlace your ten fingers. Maybe switch into your left dominant grip if you'd like. Get all the knuckles underneath the chin. Just firm up those legs again. Squeeze thighs. Buttocks tight. Belly in. And begin. Inhale, one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, hold it. Exhale, head up. Six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it. Inhale, stomach in. The more you suck your stomach in, the more you use your lungs. So you want to suck it in as much as you can, depression of the whole abdominal wall. Exhale, half. And then belly in. Think of collapsing in the lower ribs, even trying to squeeze out every bit of that stale air out of the lungs. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it. Exhale, head up, six, five, four, beautiful chest, tall and lifted, weight stays slightly to the heels, thighs tight, elbows touch, inhale, hear the breath in the throat, that's going to warm up the air as it's coming into your body, helping to warm up your body even quicker. Exhale. 
detoxing. Chest up, belly in, squeeze out every last drop of air. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it. Exhale, head up, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it, inhale, deeper breath, your lungs are really starting to open, so keep inhaling, expand your lung capacity this morning, or right afternoon, exhale, evening, whenever you're doing this, get the air out, the more you can exhale out, the more oxygen you'll be able to bring in on your next breath, we got three more, inhale, deeper, fuller, Stomach in, stomach, 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 suck it in, lift up, hold it, exhale. Really going for that empty feeling, squeezing out your air completely so you're hungry for your next breath. Inhale slowly. Take it one more sip, hold it, exhale. And then getting ready for our last inhale. Push the air completely out. Inhale, last one. Deepest, fullest breath of your whole day. Take in more. Take in more. Take in a little bit more at the top. Hold it. Exhale. Yeah. And that's enough. Relax your arms. Swallow a couple times. And we return to the breath in and out through the nose for the rest of class. Half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana with Pada Hastasana. Let's warm up the spine, feet together. Palms out, inhale, arms over your head, sideways, bring your palms together. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Squeeze your palms together all the way down to the wrist. Arms and ears together, a little bit chin up, chest up, eyes focused. Bring all the weight in the heels, root down to the legs, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your glutes, belly in. Focus your eyes, concentrate, take another inhale as you stretch your head up to the ceiling, full lungs at the top. In one straight line, there, slowly bend your upper body to the right as you push your hips to the left, coming down a straight line without bending your elbows or your knees. Now first, breathe, breathe in and out through the nose. Continuously reaching to the right, push your hips to the left just a little bit beyond where is comfortable. So you feel, you create tremendous stretching in the whole left side of the body from the bones all the way up to the skin. Keep your lower belly in, squeeze through your thighs, squeeze your butt tight. Keep body weight in the heels, nice relaxed toes. Keep breathing. Continuously reaching to the right, and then push and come down just a little bit deeper. If your left hip is creeping back, bring it forward to keep your two hips in one line. Bring your right shoulder just a little bit forward so the shoulders are in one line. You're opening up the chest. Draw your arms back. Lock your elbows, squeeze your palms. Keep breathing. You got about 10 more seconds. So with the weight to the heels, start to move your hips even further to the left. Keep reaching, coming all the way to that maximum. Breathe into that left side of the body. Come down a little deeper. Come down and push and push and hold it. Inhale, come up to center. Squeeze your palms. Let's set it up again. Hips to the floor. Draw your belly in. Weight into the heels. Spine stays straight. Inhale, stretch up to the ceiling. Full lungs at the top. Up and over to the left as you push your hips to the right, coming down that same straight line as if sliding between two panes of glass. Always establish your breathing, your eye focus one spot. Keep all the body weight in your heels. Squeeze your thighs, engage your legs, engage your glutes, keep your belly in. Those things are gonna keep the form as you go deeper, squeezing the butt. Push your hips to the right, keep reaching. Whole right side, creating length and space and stretch in the right side of the body. Lateral flexion of the spine, warming up the spine, creating lots of energy. Keep the chin lifted if it starts to drop so the throat is open. Draw the arms back as they start to slide forward. Keep your elbows straight. Squeeze the, the biceps against your head or your ears. Squeeze the palms and push your hips to the right. Coming down a little bit deeper. Always breathing. Breathe into that right rib cage, right side of the body. Suck your belly in, little right hip forward, little left shoulder forward, come all the way down and down and push, come down and push and push and hold it. Inhale, come up to center. First back, bend your back might hurt a little bit, so just nice and easy. Take a deep breath, stretch up to the ceiling and gently release your head all the way back. Eyes open, mouth is closed, breathe in and out through the nose. Lock your knees, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt tight. Make sure your head's nice and relaxed all the way back. Take another inhale as you stretch it to the ceiling. 
and then arms back immediately. Push your arms back. Push your upper body back. Then your whole spine backwards. Cock six to the neck. Lower middle upper. Total spine backward bend. Inhale, lift your chest and push your hips forward. Push stomach, hip size forward, shifting weight to the heels. Focus your eyes on one spot. Breathe. Little sips of air if you need to. Keep breathing and reach back. Try to touch the wall behind you. Squeeze your palms. Lock your elbows. Lock your knees. Push your hips forward. Lean back. Reach back. Pull back. Way back. Inhale. Come up. Take a breath. Suck in your belly. And with the straight spine, arms and ears together, full forward. Bend the knees, though, as much as you need to. First forward bend. Take it a little easy as we start. We're still warming up the body. Hands to the floor in front of you. Bend the knees right and left and right and left. Start to loosen up your back. Loosening up the backs of the legs. Lower back for things a little more easy, comfortable. You turn from back bend to forward bend. So take a moment to let the back relax. Squat down a couple times if that feels good. You see up those joints. All right, Pada Hastasana, hands to feet pose. With your feet together, bend your knees and scoop up your heels from behind so your pinky fingers are touching each other side by side behind your heels. All five fingers together, so thumbs with the rest of the fingers. Wrap your elbows all the way around your calf muscles. Glue your upper body to your lower body. Take a deep breath. Begin to pull on your heels as hard as possible. Lift your hips, pull and stretch. Lengthen your upper body down towards the floor. Really press your stomach into your thighs, your chest into the knees. Drop your head, working to bring your forehead, your face right into your shins. Now breathe and keep pulling. Slowly lifting the hips up. Slowly, gradually pushing the legs back. So you're working just nice and gradual, trying to just little by little straighten the legs more and more. Keep pulling. Lift the shoulders up away from the ears. Hug your elbows all the way around your calf muscles. Keep squeezing your bicep, your arms against your calves. Keep pulling. Keep breathing. 360 degrees of stretch. We create coccyx to heels. Coccyx all the way down to the top of the head. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Pull a little harder. One more time. Try to lift your hips. Slowly, gradually work to straighten the legs. One day you might even lock your knees and hold nice and still. And change. Arms and ears together. Suck your belly in, same break for everyone down with. Inhale, rise all the way back up. Stretch up to the ceiling one more time at the top. Exhale, arms down to your side. And let your eyes rest one spot as you breathe in and out through the nose. Let that settle in for a moment. We're going to go second set. Not as long second set. Palms out. Inhale, arms over your head. Interlace your fingers. Maybe less dominant grip. Different thumb pinky on top. Squeeze your palms. Everything a little stronger now. You've been here before. Lock your elbows. Stretch up. Hips a little forward. Chest up. Little chin up, bring the weight to the heels. Hug in your thighs, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, stretch everything up to the ceiling, full arms, up and over to the right, push your hips to the left. So now we're here for just 30 seconds. That's half the time of what we just did. Move to the place where you left off for the first set. Push and reach. Making just little adjustments as you need to, belly in, buttocks tight, a little bit left hip forward. Lift your chest to bring your right shoulder forward, opening the chest. Draw the arms back, relock those elbows, squeeze the palms, and now go for more depth. Push your hips to left. Find that new point of flexibility. Keep breathing, belly and weight in heels. Come down and push and push. Hold nice and still. Inhale, come up to center. Take another inhale, draw your belly in, stretch everything up, full, full arms to the top, and up and over to the left as you push your hips to the right. So as you move into your posture, you gradually, or you naturally exhale, and then establish your breathing. Establish your form, squeeze thighs, tightening up the muscles, tightening up the posture. Lock your elbows, a little bit right hip forward, I suggest. A little bit left shoulder forward, arms back, breathe, belly in. Now you're in your posture, see if you have a little extra. Push your hips to the right, continuously, continuously reach to the left, creating that bones to skin stretch from the fingertips to the toes. Come down and push and push and hold nice and still. Inhale, come up to center. Take a deep breath, stretch up to the ceiling, gently release your head back all the way. Look for the wall behind you. Relax your neck completely. Focus your eyes, lock your knees. Squeeze your buttocks tight, shift the weight to the heels. Take another inhale, reach up, full lungs, and then arms back. Slide your fingertips across the ceiling. Trace that line behind you as you push your arms and upper body back. Total spine backward bending. Stay lifted out of the lower back. So as you inhale, lift your ribs up and then push your hips more forward. Really get the pelvis involved. Push your stomach, hip size forward. Weight to the heels. Look further and breathe as you reach back. Squeeze the palms. Lock your elbows. Stretch and try to touch the wall behind you. Lean back, fold back, fall back and change. Inhale, come up. Take a breath, belly in, and you make that U-turn. Hold forward. Bend the knees if you need to, or maybe straight legs if you can. Second set. 
Today's gonna be a little different. Hands to the floor, wiggle it out. I like to call a little yoga cha-cha here, right to the left and right to the left. Loosen up, kind of swaying the hips. Whatever feels good, loosen up. Okay, second set, Padma is going to feel better than the first set. Bend your knees, grab your heels from behind, slip those fingers underneath your heels. Try to get those pinky fingers touching, five fingers together. Get your elbows as far behind your calves as you can get them. Take a deep breath, begin to pull on your heels, lift your hips and stretch, lengthen out of the lower spine, down to the top, through the top of the head to the floor. Stomach to your thighs, chest up to your knees, so there's no gap, no air or light between your upper body and your lower body. Absolutely glue it. That is the most important part. Glue upper body to lower body and then gradually work your edge, lifting the hips, holding and breathing, creating more length, more space, more stretch from coccyx to heels. Coccyx all the way down to the top of the head, always with a smiling, happy face and breathe normal. Stack in your belly, lift your hips, roll the way to the toes, pass it slowly, gradually try to straighten the legs, holding still, breathing normal for the last three, two, one, change. Arms and ears together. Same grip. Belly in. Inhale. Slowly rise back up. And when you reach the top, exhale. Arms down to your side. And let that go. And you're in business. Awkward pose. Utkatasana. Let's warm up the muscles a little bit more. Take your right foot step to the right. Six inches between your feet. If you take two fists to bend down and measure, that's exactly six inches. Make sure your feet are parallel to each other. So for all three parts of this posture, your feet stay parallel in one line, like the sides of the letter H. Arms up parallel to the floor. Stretch your fingertips forward. Flatten your palms, five fingers together, and engage your arms. Muscles tight. Lock your elbows so there's nothing loose or hanging in the arms. Take a big inhale. Suck in your stomach and exhale. Sit down with your feet flat. Shift 100% body weight into the heels. Sink your hips way back. Sit all the way down to the thighs or parallel to the floor. As you can go. You can lean forward to get those hips back and down. And once your hips are in the chair, lift your chest. Suck in your belly. Depression of your whole abdominal wall. Contraction of your abdominal muscles. Suck it in. Hold it in and breathe. Still six inches between toes, heels, knees, and wrists. Continue to stretch your fingertips forward as you stick your hips further back. So you deeper into the chair. Keep lifting the chest up. Belly in tight. Eyes focus. Breathe. Sit back. Feel like you're just about to fall down backwards. Change. Inhale, come up, keep the arms there. Second position, come all the way up onto your toes. Like a ballet dancer, stretch your spine, chest, head, neck up towards the ceiling, focus your eyes, you concentrate one spot. Take a deep breath, bend your knees a little bit, press your heels even more forward as you start to sit down. And with your spine straight, you continue to sit down as long as the heels are lifted and the spine is straight. Keep breathing. Upper body back. If you start to lean forward, pause there and try to lean back another inch. Looks good. Just sitting down. Eventually hips in the chair. Never below the knees, though with the hips. Sit down and come way up onto the toes. Heels up, knees up, heels up, and change. Inhale, push up, and lower your heels. Last part. Re-energize those arms. Triceps tight. Come up a little bit on your toes. Squeeze your knees together. Squeeze knees in and your thighs. Suck in your stomach and slowly take 10 counts to slide down the wall. So spine stays straight again. Breathing always normal, squeeze the knees. If there's ever any pain, you stop wherever you need to along the way. Otherwise, come all the way down. And then you're hovering above your heels just a couple of inches. Squeeze your knees together, bring your knees a little bit down and forward so thighs are parallel to the floor. Upper body back just slightly so the spine is nice and straight. It's like you're holding a box on your left. Triceps tight, belly in, breathing normal. Squeeze the knees and as slow as you can, you inhale, come straight back up. We'll squeeze the knees, squeeze the knees all the way back up. At the top, heels come down. Arms down, right foot back to place. Heart rate's coming up a little bit. Breathe. Second set, right foot steps back to that same position. Six inch gap between your feet. Heels and toes in one line. Arms up parallel to the floor. Palms flat, squeeze your five fingers together. Tricep muscles tight, elbows straight, nothing loose. Take a deep breath, suck in your stomach, exhale, zoom, launch your hips back and sit all the way down, hips in the chair, maximum body weight to the heels. In fact, press down through the heels and relax your toes. Lean back more. You're bringing your shins further back. Suck in your belly, lift your chest. Beautiful spine back and bending, breathe. Belly in, contraction of the abdominal muscles, suck it in. Six inches, knees, toes, heels, and wrists. Now playing that edge a little bit more, reach your fingertips forward, stick your hips back in opposition as you sit back, lean back, fall back. Inhale, come up, keep the arms there. Second part, come up onto your toes. 
And as high as you can go, coming up eventually up past the balls of the feet, push down through your big second toes, stretch your spine up toward the ceiling like I'm pulling you up by the top of the head. Take a deep breath, belly in, bend your knees, sit down on tops of the toes, pressing ankles forward, spine stays straight. Shaking is perfectly normal. Wobbling, shaking, building lots of strength in the legs, focus, concentration, determination, willpower, sitting down into the chair, come way up onto the tiptoes, pulse those heels forward, heels up, knees up, heels up, chin up, inhale, come up, lower heels. Come up a little bit on your toes, squeeze your knees together, triceps tight, five fingers together, suck into your belly, squeeze your knees, take ten counts, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, deep breathing. Knees down and forward, keep squeezing inner thighs, knees together, belly in, keep stretching the spine up, creating traction in the spine. Eyes focus, squeeze the knees without leaning forward, inhale, come up, five, four, three, two, one. Heels come down, arms down, right foot steps back to place. Eagle Garudasana, we'll get a little break after this. So remember which arm's your right, which one's your left. Your left, inhale, arms over your head sideways, top, touch your palms, bring your right arm underneath your left arm. Palms come together in front of your face, thumbs facing you, pinky fingers towards the ear. Pull your elbows down, try to get your fingers to go below your nose. Feel a good stretch across both shoulders. Bend your knees, sit low with your hips. Lift your chest high to give you the inhale, right leg looks high over your left leg, crossing high. Twist your legs together. Sit down, working towards, hooking your toes underneath the calf muscle just when you can do that. And then squeeze, sit down, pull your elbows down. And a little bit knees to the right, upper body to the left. If you don't have a mirror in front of you, you have to just feel this. You're trying to line the joints down the center. You're going to level your hips and shoulders. And then sit down deeper, body weight towards your heels. Squeeze everything together. Suck your belly and lift your chest and go even taller, chest up, upper body back, hold still. Change, feet together, inhale, arms up, palms touch, stretch up. Bring your left arm underneath the right. Hands, palms come together. Hands in the center, right in line with your nose, thumbs facing in and pull your elbows down. You should, again, feel good stretching across the shoulders. Bend your knees, sit low, lift your chest high, stay low with your hips, inhale, left leg looks high over the right leg. Crossing high, twisting, squeezing. Once you get the toes to hook around the calf muscle, slide your big toe down toward your ankle, eliminate all the gaps in the legs to the left, getting that right hip maybe slightly forward, hands in the center, in line with the nose, and then sit down, bringing body weight to the heel. Beautiful compression into your joints, your reproductive organs, get a good squeeze. Sit down more, suck your belly, and pull your elbows down, lift your chest up one more time, upper body back and hold it. Change, Keep together. Inhale, arms up, get this nice rush of blood, reach up. Second set, right arm underneath the left, so we go right into second set. Hands in the center, pull your elbows down. Bend your knees, sit low, lift your chest high, and inhale, right leg lifts high over the left. The higher you lift, the easier to wrap. The more you sit, the easier to hook your toes. Squeeze and twist. Find your breath, find your focus, your concentration point, eyes focus one spot. Knees right, hands in the center. Keep pulling your elbows down, and then go for just a little more depth. Sit down, body weight towards your heel. Squeeze tight, belly in, chest up one more time, upper body back, hold it, three, two, one, release, feet together, inhale, arms up, that's the magic right there, left arm underneath your right, getting that brush of blood back into the body, hands in the center, pull your elbows down, sit down, hips in the chair, chest up high, stay low, inhale, left leg, higher you lift it up. And if you don't get the toes to hook, that is okay. That's where you're headed, and just working those toes in the right direction is going to create that same tourniquet effect that you need. Squeezing tight, look at the joints. Seven major joints here. Hands right in the middle, pull your elbows down. Yeah, that's it. Hands about an inch away from the face. And then focus your eyes one spot. Find that point to focus your drishti. Sit down, squeeze, weight in the heel. Belly in, chest up one more time, upper body back. As tall as you can as you sit down for three. Two, one, change. Feet together, inhale, arms up, touch palms, stretch up. Exhale, arms down to your side. And party time. Get some water if you like. Justin's got a little sweat going. I hope you do too. All right. Our 
next posture as we move into our balancing series is a posture of concentration. Balance, concentration, focus, determination, builds patience, builds discipline, builds character. So with feet together, standing head knee, down in Manajani Shrasa, shift your weight into your left leg, contract your left thigh muscle, and lift your right knee up in front of you. Suck your stomach in, exhale, round forward, work to pick up your foot so all ten fingers interlace underneath your foot, couple inches below your toes. Flexing your foot up towards you, look forward a few feet in front of you. If you don't have a mirror, then you're looking on the floor, maybe a few feet in front of you or one spot. Otherwise, if you have a mirror, look at your standing left leg. From start to finish, your standing leg should be straight. Pulling the kneecap up, engaging your quadricep muscle nice and tight. Standing leg long, belly in, body weight slightly forward, distributing the weight equal. And if you have all of those things and you're still breathing, inhale, slowly begin to kick your right leg heel forward, lifting your right leg all the way up to parallel. And don't feel like you have to do everything just right, so you just do what you can, lifting your right leg up to parallel, and then continuously kick. And then you're working towards straightening both legs so that eventually you look like a perfect upside down L from the side. Keeping the belly in, standing leg locked, most importantly. If your um, both legs are locked, upside down L from the side, bend your elbows down to your calf muscles. Elbows go below the calf muscles, breathing normal, standing legs straight. And then change, slowly reverse your way out of the posture, lower your leg down, arms down. This is a progressive posture, so you just do as much as you can, going one step at a time. And that starts by now shifting your weight to your right leg, contract the right thigh, lift your left knee up. Suck your stomach in, exhale, belly in, round forward, and pick up your foot. And you may or may not be able to even pick up your foot yet. And that's okay. Again, the most important thing is concentrating, meditating on the standing leg from start to finish. Body weight is slightly forward, finding the weight distributing in the foot, standing leg thigh tight. In other words, your knee is locked. You have one piece, leg, lamp post. Inhale, slowly kick your left leg, heel forward if you're ready. Lifting all the way up to parallel, and then you keep kicking. Tremendous stretching underneath your both legs. Keep kicking, pressing the heel forward, turning, flexing the foot in towards you at the ankle, breathing always normal, standing legs still locked. That's where the foundation, that's where the benefits happen. Once both legs are straight and you look like a perfect upside down L and you're still breathing, then you bend the elbows down to your calf muscles. Try to create cramp on top of your kicking leg as you work to contract your left thigh as much as your standing leg is locked, breathing here. Elbows come down eventually below the calf muscles, weight is forward, last five seconds, breathe, focus, concentrate, and lock breathe. Change, slowly reverse your way out, leg down, arms down, and you can, if you like, give yourself a little half second foot supported back then, feel free. And we'll practice that again, and the good news, second set's only 30 seconds, so find something you can make stronger in your second set, shift your weight to your left leg, contract the left thigh, right knee up, suck your stomach in, exhale, round forward, pick up your foot. Once you have your breath and your balance and your standing leg is locked, go ahead and slowly move ahead. Lifting right leg up to parallel, keep concentrating. Keep meditating on the standing leg. Try to keep bringing the weight forward. Breathing normal, belly in. You're halfway there. If you're both legs straight, elbows come down. Once your elbows go all the way below the calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin, hit even harder, curling in, bringing the forehead to the knee, and you hold for five, four, three, two, one change. Slowly reverse your way out. Take a breath. Shift your weight to the right leg. Contract the right thigh. Lift your left knee up. Hips stay level. Suck your stomach in. Exhale. Round forward. You hollow out your belly so your abdominal muscles are working hard. Get a good grip. Ten fingers interlace. Thumbs underneath the foot if you can. Keep focusing on your standing leg. If it's locked, you're, you have no knee. Inhale. Slowly kick your left leg heel forward. So we're never hyperextending sinking back into the back of the leg, keeping the weight forward, keep engaging the quadricep muscle. It's a strong, active posture. Kick your heel forward, toes in, both knees locked, elbows come down. Once your elbows eventually go below the calf muscles to the final position, you tuck your chin, you kick harder, you curl in, you tuck your chin, bring the forehead to the knee, and you hold for the last few seconds, breathing normal. And then slowly take your time as you try to reverse your way through each step that you went into it, and then let that go. Standing bow plank pose, standing on down your asana. Bring your right hand um, out to the side, elbow is in, your palm is out. Keep your elbow in, keep the palm out, reach down and pick up your foot from the inside, the arch side of your foot. All five fingers together, you can grab your ankle, you can grab a few inches below your toes. Stretch your left arm up towards the ceiling, bring your shoulder up towards meeting your chin or your cheek. 
Bring your knees together. Standing legs straight and strong, no knee. Lift your chin, focus your eyes. Take an inhale as you stretch up and very slowly begin to kick straight back behind you. If you can see yourself in the mirror, the knee stays pointing down as you slowly start to kick and stretch, 50-50. And bring your body down. Charging forward slowly, continuously keep kicking back and up as hard as you can. The harder you kick, the easier to balance. Stretch your left shoulder forward, touch your shoulder to the chin, keep reaching fingertips right about the bridge of the nose if you have that mirror in front of you. The arm stays lifted, slowly then body comes down, standing leg lock, breathe normally. The harder you kick, the better you do, keep kicking. Eventually your abdomen comes all the way to parallel, two feet in one line from the side, but no rush getting there. You've got plenty of time, so continue to breathe. Stretch your left shoulder forward, touch your shoulder to the chin. That's gorgeous, Justin. Keep kicking back like you're pulling an archer's bow. Keep kicking up. And if you can, bring your body down. Come more forward towards the mirror. Come down, kick as hard as you can. Five more seconds. Give it a little extra butt thigh strength as you kick and kick and kick and change. Kick to come out. Feet together. Arm comes down. Take a breath. Heart rate's definitely coming up. That's by design. Other side, bring your left hand out. Elbow stays in. Palm stays out. Very important. Don't turn your hand. Imagine you have something in your hand. Reach down. Pick up your foot from the inside. Arch side of your foot. Five fingers together. Thumbs with the index finger. Stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. Shoulder to chin. You're reaching for the ceiling already. Knees touch. Hips level. Lock your standing leg. Focus your eyes. A little bit chin up. Inhale. Stretch up. Add your kick straight back. So you're already reaching. Now kick straight back as you begin to pull the archer's bow, kicking and stretching with equal force, simultaneously kicking, stretching 50-50, then slowly you start to bring the body down and you take your time. Got it, 60 second posture, you're well into it. Stretch your right fingertips forward, shoulder stretches forward, and you end up touching shoulder to the chin. The head stays straight, eyebrows level to the floor, breathe, breathe a little bit more. You've got to kick hard, you've got to work hard and relax at the same time that comes through the breath. Standing leg thigh tight, Bring the weight more forward, body down, kick up and kick back. Finding the power of the glute, the quadricep, the hamstring. Maybe creating cramping slightly in your lower back as you bring your body down. Stretch more forward, shoulder to chin, come down and kick for five, four, kick up, three, two, one, change. Kick to come out, feet together, arm comes down, breathe. And good news, second set again is half the time, so that means you get quicker to your maximum. Bring your right hand out, elbow in. You want to have time to spend at your maximum, breathing normal. Reach down, pick up your foot from the inside, grabbing at the ankle or maybe a few inches below toes, left arm up, shoulder to chin. Bring your knees together so you're leveling out your hips to start. Let the back shoulder relax. Take an inhale as you stretch up shoulder to cheek. Add your kick straight back, slowly pulling that archer's bow, kicking, stretching. The arm lifted, it's the body coming down, charging forward as you bring the body down. Continuously keep kicking back, breathing normally. If you do have a mirror and you see your leg, the knee should be invisible, your back leg should be invisible, two shoulders in one line. Coming down with the abdomen, stretching your fingertips forward, right at the bridge of the nose in the mirror, coming all the way to your maximum now, breathing normal, kick as hard as you can, think standing splits here at the end, point your toes and kick and kick and kick. Good. Keep to come out. Take a breath. All right. Feel that heart pumping. Other side. Bring your left hand out. This is one of the only postures that irrigates the heart. Palm out. Elbow in. Reach down. Pick up your foot. Irrigation of the circulation system. Stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. Shoulder to chin. Level hips. Take another inhale. Stretch up. Kick and charge your body forward. So right away you feel the opposition's happening, your right shoulder stretching forward, kicking back, those two shoulders coming into one line. Body down. Standing leg thigh tight, that's important, that's your foundation. Leg lock, breathe, always breathe, and then abdomen parallel to the floor, kicking back and up as hard as you can, not so long to go. If you've got a little extra, find that button thigh straight, come more forward, stretching, kicking, 50-50, kick and kick and kick. Change. The other arm comes down. Step to the back of your mat. Tula Dasana balancing stick. Good for your heart, this one. Feet together. Inhale, arms over your head. Interlace your fingers. Release your index fingers. Cross your thumbs. And squeeze your palms together. Nice and tight grip. Arms stay with your ears. Lock your elbows so no gap between the arms and ears. A little bit chin up, a little forward. Step forward on your right foot. Plant it. Point your back toes up. Take an inhale. Stretch your belly in and charge. Body down, leg up. Come all the way down to parallel. So you look like a perfect letter T. Try to 
gonna roll the left hip down, suck your stomach in, stretch and reach in opposite directions, come more forward. Squeeze your palms, lock your elbows, big toe pointed to the back wall, come down and stretch and stretch and stretch. Inhale, step back, keep the arms there. Squeeze your palms, lock your elbows, little chin up, chest up. Step forward on your left foot. Point your right toes up. Inhale, reach up, belly in, and you charge. Coming all the way down. Every muscle lengthen and contracted at the same time. Coming down to parallel. Breathe here. Looking underneath your fingertips, four feet in front of you. A little bit chin forward, eyes forward. Squeeze your palms, lock your elbows. So stretch your body. Feel natural tug of war with your body. Come down and stretch and stretch and stretch. Change. Inhale, step back. Exhale, arms down, breathe it again. Feel that heart pumping in your chest. So good for the heart, good for the lungs. Second set, let's keep that heart rate up. Inhale, arms over your head, interlace less dominant grip this time. Squeeze your palms tight, lock your elbows, little chin up, look forward. Step forward on your right foot, point your back toes up. Inhale, reach up, belly in, and charge. Rolling that left hip down as you can as you come into to the position of the posture, perfect letter T. Come more forward and stretch. Squeeze your palms, lock your elbows, keep breathing. A little bit, look forward, four feet in front of you. Come down, everybody stretch and stretch and stretch. Change, inhale, step back. Squeeze palms, lock your elbows, chin up. Left foot steps forward. Keep your right hip coming forward, point your back toes, lock your knees, inhale and pivot. Boom, coming down to parallel, all the way to parallel. And you're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, keep stretching, three, come forward, two, one, change, inhale, step back, exhale, arms down, take a deep breath. All right, let's bring the heart rate down a little bit. Take a quarter turn to your, whatever side you want to be facing in your room today. Justin's gonna be facing you, standing separate legs, stretching down in my back, but a Paschimottanasana. Start with your feet together. Inhale, arms over your head, touch your palms. Right foot steps to the right, big step, arms down parallel to the floor. Try to move legs and arms together at the same time. Palms down, five fingers together, slightly pigeon toe your feet in. If you have sciatic pain going on today, you keep the feet perfectly straight. Push your hips forward, upper body back, chest up, stretch those arms apart. Now lock your knees, take a deep breath, and exhale, lean with your chin. Do a long swan dive forward, lengthen your upper body down towards the floor. All the way down your legs, stay start, straight from start to finish. Slide your hands down the backs of the legs, working towards slipping all five fingers of both hands underneath the outsides of your heels or maybe sides of the feet. Roll the weight to your toes, lift your hips, lock your knees. If you have the grip on your heels, your knees are locked. You pull, bend your elbows in towards your shins like you're gonna wrap your elbows around your calf muscles and pull and stretch your upper body down towards the floor. Little bit chin forward, looking down at the floor with your eyes right in between your feet. Lift your hips, quads tight, that's supporting the release and relaxation of your hamstrings to be able to stretch. So you might just come forward, you can always bring your hands to the floor if this is too much for the, the hamstrings. And then if you're pulling, lift the shoulders, elbows in, pull the chest down, eventually through the thighs to touch your head to the floor right between your feet. That's it, you can open up those feet a little bit wider if you'd like to. Release the back of the head, touch your forehead to the floor and hold there, breathe, lock your knees. To change, bring your arms out wide, suck your stomach in, inhale, rise all the way back up, same straight spine. And then right foot steps back to place, feet together, arms come down. Getting all this beautiful, fresh oxygen rich blood to your brain, so good for the brain. Second set, inhale, arms up, palms touch, stretch up, right foot steps to the right, boom, arms come down, parallel to the floor. Lots of energy in the arms, palms flat, lock your elbows, slightly toes in, hips to the floor, chest up, arms back, take a deep breath, exhale, belly in, you do that long swan, that quads tight, knees locked, lengthen, 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 grab your heels from the outside, all five fingers underneath the heels, five fingers together. A little bit chin forward. Roll the weight to your toes, lifting the hips up. So you're stacking your hips over your ankles from the side. If you've got the grip on your heels, there's no pain in the backs of the legs, you pull. Bend your elbows in. Stretch your body down. Suck your belly in. Breathe. Focus your eyes on the floor, right between your feet. 360 degrees of stretching again. We create coccyx to heels. Stretching coccyx all the way down to the top of the head. All this beautiful, fresh blood moving to your brain. Facial tissue is so good for nourishing the brain. And then maybe you touch your head to the floor between your feet and you hold. Change. Arms out. Suck your stomach in. Inhale as you rise up. Right foot steps back to place. Feet together. Arms come down. 
and we've reached the master pose in the standing series, triangle trikonasana. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Right foot steps to the right, take a big four or five foot step and immediately arms come down parallel to the floor. Push your hips forward, arms and upper body back, palms flat, five fingers together. Turn your right foot to the right all the way till it's parallel to the side of your mat or whatever the wall is in front of you. Make sure your heels are on the same line. Sit and bend your right knee, sit down to the thigh is parallel to the floor. The knee should never go past your toes, so if it does, then you need a little wider step. And then sit down as low as you can today, thigh parallel. Push your hips forward, arms back, bring your spine in the center. Now freeze the hips there. Inhale in one motion, just move your arms. Flip your palms forward. Bring your right elbow in front of the knee. Stretch down with your right fingertips and you're working towards touching lightly between your big and second toe. Look up to the ceiling, chin to the shoulder. That's a beautiful profile of the face visible from the side. Stretch up to the ceiling and stretch down to the toes. So your two arms are stretching apart in opposite directions. Push both hips forward. Push your left hip down. Push your right knee back with your elbow. Suck in your belly. Lift up a little bit and turn, twist your whole upper body. So we get a little spine twist happening. Keep twisting from the lower spine, right shoulder forward. Lock your left leg, left foot flat to the floor. Sit down as you lift up and reach up. You're trying to touch the ceiling. And then to change, you move just the arms and then straighten your right leg. Turn your right toes in, turn your left toes out. And if you pivot on the heels, your heels will stay on the same line, which is important. Push hips forward, arms back, bend your left knee, sit down. Let that right hip maybe roll forward a little bit so you can get all the way down five parallel. Knee over the middle of your foot. Spine in the center, hips forward, arms back. Freeze your hips, don't let it move. Inhale, flip your palms, and move your arms at the same time. Elbow comes in front of the knee. Now, left elbow never goes below the knee, so you're sitting down and you're reaching to try to touch lightly between big and second toe. Whether you do or not, doesn't matter. Look up to the ceiling, bring your chin to the shoulder, stretch up to the ceiling, stretch down for the toes, creating that space in your heart, chest area. Push hips forward. Push your right hip a little bit down. Push that left knee back, and then in up, twisting your upper body back in that position. Belly in. Right leg thigh tight, right foot pinky toe, all the way flat to the floor, so a little deeper. Bring the body weight to your left heel, try to touch those toes as you stretch those arms apart. Look up, stretch up, and change. Move the arms first, straighten the legs second, turn your left toes in. Inhale, right foot back, feet together, arms come down to your side. Let your eyes just rest one spot as you breathe, and you feel the work of the posture. Second set, inhale, arms up, palms touch, right foot steps right, big step, arms down. Second set is usually better, that's the good news. Hips forward, arms back, chest up, turn your right foot to the right, heels stay the same line, make sure that right foot is exactly parallel to whatever wall is in front of you. Bend your right knee, sit down, sit low, low, low. Maybe you bounce one or two times to get low, but then stay low with your hips, don't let them come up. Spine in the center, arms back, freeze hips, inhale, flip palms, move your arms at the same time. Again, elbow never goes below the knee. There's a big triangle gap between your armpit and the thigh. Stretch it up towards the ceiling. Try to touch your chin to the middle of the shoulder. Maybe you look into your armpit and that helps you to do that. And then reach up, look up, and stretch those arms apart. Push hips forward. Push your right knee back. Turn, twist your upper body back, opening the chest towards the ceiling. Breathe. Lock your left leg, edge of the left foot. Should be all the way flat to the floor. Sit down, touch those toes as you reach up, stretch up. Change, move arms first, straighten the legs second, turn your right toes in, turn your left toes out. Push your hips forward, arms back, bend your left knee. This is a beautiful triangle, Justin. Push your hips forward. Maybe you bounce one or two times, sit low. Now stay low with your hips. That's it, spine in the middle. Hips forward, arms back, inhale. Move your arms, bring your elbow in front of the knee. That's it, you can make little adjustments with your legs. Bringing your right body weight into your left heel instead of the left toes. Root down through the heel. Keep reaching up and reaching down. Push your hips forth. Push your left knee back. Suck in your belly. Twist your upper body from the lower spine. So your whole body in one line plane from the side. Right leg locked. Right foot flat to the floor. Breathing always normal like you're just walking down the street. And then look up and reach for that spot. You're stretching your foot. Touch the ceiling. Touch your toes. Stretch and stretch. Change. Move the arms. Straighten the leg. Left toes in. Inhale, arms open the right foot back to place and arms come down. All right, let's bring the heart rate down a little bit. Standing separate leg, head to knee, down in the pocket, pot of Janu Shrasana. This is head to knee. Inhale, arms over your head, palms together, cross, adjust your thumbs, lock your elbows, step to the right three feet. So just a little bit smaller, but still a pretty wide step. Pick up your toes, pivot on your heels, turn to face the right, a quarter turn. 
Back foot turns in, 45 degree angle, twist your left hip forward, one, two, three, four times. Get your two hips parallel to whatever wall is in front of you. Lock your elbows, inhale, stretch up, tuck in your chin. Exhale, round your spine, suck in your belly, curl, go down, arms and ears together. Touch your forehead to the knee. Now you can open up your hands for balance if you need to. And use your fingertips to push the forehead up to meet the knee. Bend your right knee as much as you need to, to touch the forehead to the knee. We're choking the throat, squeezing the thyroid, parathyroid, and internal organs. Elbows straight position. Suck your belly in, drag the forehead higher up the leg. Try to get the middle of the forehead to the middle of the knee. And then push the forehead into the knee, create pressure between the two. You're gradually working to lock the knee with your forehead. Now lock both legs, palms together if they've separated, arms and ears together. Inhale, slowly unfurl, push your left hip forward, left hip forward, beautiful, all the way up, chin up, very last. Pick up your toes, pivot, 180 degrees to the other side. Back foot turns in 45 degrees, switch your right hip forward one, two, three times. So the hips again are parallel to whatever wall is in front of you. Lock your elbows, inhale, reach up, tuck in your chin. Exhale, round, dive into your belly button. That choking sensation in the throat, squeezing the thyroid, parathyroid gland. Bend the knee as you need to to touch the forehead to the knee. Open your hands if you need to. Use those fingertips and push the forehead higher up towards your knee. And then try to breathe. Breathe into the backs of the lungs. You're breathing little sips of air maybe, but you're still breathing. Shift your body weight forward to your left foot. Get your left hip up, right hip down, leveling your hips. Suck your stomach in. See if you can drag the forehead higher up the leg. Elbows are straight. Back heel on the floor. Breathe a little sips. Push the forehead into the knee. Try to lock the knee with your forehead a couple of times. And then lock your both legs, palms together if they've separated. Arms with your ears, slowly uncurl, pushing right hip forward as you come up and your chin comes up very last. Once you're clear, pivot, face to the side, feet come together and arms down to your side, getting that, all that rush of blood back into the body. So you can feel lots of sensation. This is great for your immune system, internal organs. Second set, inhale, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, lock your elbows, step to the right, three feet. Pick up your toes, pivot on your heels so that the heels stay on the same line. You can always check them if you need to. Left hip forward a couple times, twist two hips in one line. Lock your elbows, inhale, stretch up, tuck in your chin, and exhale, curl. You might create cramping in your belly. That's a good sign. You're squeezing your liver, your pancreas. Touch forehead to the knee. Now you might need a wider step. If it's really hard to get the forehead to the knee, you might need a wider step. Elbows straight, the right hip up, leveling out your hips. Belly in, try to keep both heels on the ground, and then keep dragging the forehead higher in the knee. Breathe into the back of the lungs, you can breathe, and then find that maximum here, push the forehead into the knee, working to lock the knee for three, two, one, lock both legs, palms together, arms with your ears, slowly uncurl, pushing your left hip forward, and the chin comes up last. Give it 180 degrees to the other side, back foot in, Right hip forward, one, two, three, four times. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other to lock that hip in place. Lock your elbows, tuck your chin, and exhale, you go down. Final one, you might feel a little crunchy in the throat, right? That's that choking sensation. Rounding the spine, extension of the back, stretching kidneys, sucking your belly. That's it, now Justin has this beautiful posture. I know you're not looking at him, but if you can bring your hands back together into Namaskar, if the forehead and knee are touching, that's where you're headed, bringing the palms together. Eventually, fingertips touching the floor right in front of your toe, your big toe. And then before you come out, push the forehead into the knee. Try to lock the knee a little bit more at the forehead. Good. Now lock your both legs, palms together. Slowly unfurl, pushing your right hip forward, and your chin comes up very last. Once you're clear, pivot. Feet come together, arms come down to your side, take a deep breath. Lots going on in the body. Step back to the middle of your towel, facing front, tree, Tadasana. Start with your feet together. Lift your right knee up high and pick up your right foot from underneath. And with the help of both hands, grab from underneath the foot near your pinky toe and, and drag your heel up to the top of the thigh as high as you can get it up there towards your belly button. Sole of the foot facing the ceiling. Gently push your hips forward, right knee back. Stand up as tall as you can, leveling your hips and your shoulders, belly in. Right hand comes up, thumb at your chest. If your foot can stay there, you can always bring your other hand up to meet it. 
squeezing hips forward a little bit, right knee down and back. Standing leg lock, that's your foundation. Draw your belly in, stretch everything up towards the ceiling, getting as tall as you can as you continuously but gently work the right knee down and back. Focus your eyes and breathe. And then gently release your right leg down, arms come down. Shift your weight to the right leg, lift your left knee up high, pick up your left foot from underneath and use your both hands again. Grab from underneath and get the heel as high up on top of your thigh as you can. There should be no pain in the knee, so always gentle, push your hips forward, left knee down and back. Level your hips and shoulders, lock your standing leg. Suck your stomach and stretch up tall through the spine, left hand comes up, maybe your right hand come, come up. If the foot slips though, it's better to hold on to the foot. That way you can work the hips forward. Taking the excess sway back out of the spine, hips forward, draw your belly in, stretch up. Then focus your eyes, breathe in and out through the nose and become the tallest tree you can as you gently work the left knee down and back. And then gently release your left leg down, arms down. Finally, toe stand. This is a progressive posture. You do as much of it as you can. It starts by shifting your eyes to the floor a few feet in front of you. Pick up your right foot from underneath, bring your heel up on top of the thigh. And then one or both hands come up to Namaskar and with a straight leg, fold forward. Straight leg, you go down. Eyes looking at the floor, start to reach to the floor. When your hands touch the floor, bring the weight to the hands, bend your knee and sit down on top of your heel. Walk your hands to the sides of the hips and begin to find your balance, your focus, your concentration, bringing the knees down, chest up. When you're ready, left hand comes up center of your chest, maybe the right hand. And just practice. It's always just practice. Concentration. Focus. Drawing in the belly to stretch up. That's it. And whenever you're ready, bring your hands out front and push yourself back up into tree. So you work to finish in tree at the end. Tree pose release. Leg down, arms down. Nice work. Other side, look at the floor, four feet in front of you, pick up your left foot, bring your heel up on top of the thigh. If you're moving forward, left hand, the right hand comes up, and slowly with the straight leg, you fold forward. We're about halfway there, you can start to reach to the floor, and then when your hands do touch, shift all the way to the hands, bend your knees, sit down on top of your heel, walk your hands to the sides of the hips, Keep your eyes focused, try to get your two knees parallel to the floor and point your left toes. Knees down, chest up, stretch up, left hand, then right hand comes up, thumb at your sternum. Eventually, you slowly start to lift your eyes, push down through the toes to lift your hips up off of your heels. You stretch everything up. Good. Toe stand as you're ready. Bring your hands out in front and push yourself up all the way back up into tree. Tree pose release, lay down, arms down, take a deep breath, honoring your standing series. And turn around, relax on your back, Savasana, well done. Technically that whole standing series is considered the warm up to get to this place right here as we come to the floor. First posture on the floor, Savasana. Bring your heels together, let your feet relax. Arms are close to your body, your palms are up, your eyes are open. Let your eyes rest one spot as you breathe in and out through the nose. Completely relax your body. Letting go of any tension in the body or the mind. Soften, release, relax. Soften your feet, soften your hands, your face, your jaw. Follow the breath, the rise and fall of your belly without having to control your breath. If your mind wanders, if you're thinking about something else, which you're going to eat after this, then bring it back to the breath. This is one long moving meditation. We're trying to train the mind. Finding stillness. Notice where the thoughts go and then bring them back to your breath. See if you can soften your body just a little more. 
The more awareness we can bring to the relaxation of our muscles in our body, the more tension we release, the healthier our bodies become and our minds become. Cultivating awareness. is when you're moving, Pavana Mutrasana. Bend your right knee up, interlace all 10 fingers, two to three inches below your knee on top of your shin. Get a good tight grip to the webbing and then pull your knee around your ribcage into the shoulder without rolling to the right. Left shoulder stays down, left hip stays down. Head on the floor, tuck your chin, flatten your neck, look down with your eyes and pull hard knee to shoulder. If your left leg calf muscle is not on the floor, flex your left foot toward your face. Look down and breathe in steady effort, pull, working to move. Stimulate your ascending colon on this side, getting into the hip joint here, pull hard, and then hold absolutely still. Don't move, don't even blink. Release, right leg down, arms down. Bend your left knee up, interlace your 10 fingers two to three inches below the left knee. Pull the knee around your rib cage into the shoulder so you're not jamming the leg into the ribs, it's into that lower abdomen. Bring your both shoulders and hips on the floor equally. Hug your elbows in, use your bicep strength and pull. Head on the floor, chin down, look down with your eyes, and then just a steady effort, keep pulling. If your right leg is coming up off the floor, flex your foot towards your face, see a little more opposition as you pull knee to shoulder. Continuously keep pulling without stopping, without intermission. Use your biceps and pull. Release left leg down, arms down. Bring your feet together, lift both knees up, reach around your legs, and go for your elbows. If you can't get your elbows in the palms of your hands, get as close as you can. Maybe grab forearms. Line up your feet, big toes, side by side. Squeeze your knees together. Head on the floor. Tuck your chin, flatten your neck, shoulders, and your hips down. Inhale, squeeze the knees. Getting compression to the lower abdomen, transverse colon. Exhale, flatten the spine, chin down, shoulders down, hips down. Look down and hold it still. Give yourself a big hug. Release, both legs down, arms at your side, palms up, savasana. Again, relax and get fresh blood back to the legs and hips. This posture is good for digestion, elimination, keeping that regular. Second set, right knee up, interlace your 10 fingers to your less dominant grip this time. Pull the knee around your ribcage into the shoulder, elbows in, anchor both shoulders and hips down as you pull hard. Who doesn't need to stimulate your colon? Right? Pull, chin down, look down, and pull the neck good squeeze into the hip, biceps are working, left leg on the floor, change, right leg down, arms down, left knee up, 10 fingers interlace, pull the knee around, down and in, so fire in those biceps, elbows in, shoulders are relaxed, try to find the biceps and triceps to pull knee to shoulder, chin down, look down, right leg on the floor, flex the foot if you need to, as you exhale, pull even harder, hold absolutely still, don't move your eyes, don't blink your eyes, Change again, left leg down. Bend both knees up, reach around, go for your elbows. Switch up your grip this time so your different forearm is on top. Get as tight as you can, make it tight and compact, squeeze the knees. Head on the floor, tuck your chin, flatten your neck, your shoulders, your hips down. Inhale, squeeze and exhale, flatten. Hips down, chin down, shoulders down, look down, and hold nice and still and breathe for the last five seconds. Breathe, squeeze. Release. Both legs come down and that rush of blood rushes back to the legs and hips. Palms up, eyes open, breathe in and out through the nose. You're fueling circulation continuously with your breath, that marriage of the respiratory system and circulatory system. We're going to do our first sit-up. If you feel like this bothers your back, you can feel free to skip it. Bring your feet together, your toes and ankles touch, flex your feet to your face. This is a transitional sit-up. Bring your arms over your head, cross just your thumbs, arms stay with your ears. Tighten your seat muscles, belly in, lock your knees. Take an inhale and dive through your toes. Double exhale, hold the toes, lower the knees. Get a little stretch here each time. And then turn around and on your belt. We're going to work into our spine strengthening series. So starting with Cobra Bhujangasana. Bring your hands directly underneath your shoulders. So you can look down, line up your middle fingers with the tops of the shoulders. Your pinky fingers line up with the deltoids or the outsides of the shoulders. Then palms flat, glue them down. Elbows in the air like little grasshopper legs. Chin forward, shoulders down. Squeeze your legs together. You have one cobra tail, heels touch, lock your knees. 
Exhale, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, peel your upper body up using your back strength. Come up halfway up to your belly button, chest up, chin up, look up, now breathe. Hug your elbows in, stretch your elbows down to the hips so the shoulders come down, palms stay flat. Keep squeezing the legs, press your hips down, feet down, pull in the belly, lift your chest up, chest up, look up and hold it nice and still, breathe. And change, slowly lower, touch your chin first. Look to the right, left ear on the top, bring your arms to your side and completely relax. Get a compression into the lower back, lower spine, and strength at the same time as we work those muscles. Second set, chin forward. Bring your hands, palms flat, right underneath your shoulders again. Distribute the weight equally in your hands. Squeeze your legs together. This is your foundation. Squeeze your butt tight, lock your knees. Kneecaps come up off the floor. Exhale, prepare, inhale, peel up. Start with the back strength as much as you can. If you can't come all the way to the belly button, then use a little bit of arms to get that low back compression, chest up, chin up, look up. Squeeze your elbows in, stretch your elbows down, shoulders come down, press feet to the floor, hips to the floor, more chest up. Think longer with the spine, chest up, chest up, look up, lift up, hold it, and slowly lower. Touch your chin, look to the left this time, right ear on the towel, completely relax. Breathe and relax. Allow the circulation to return to normal before we begin again. Next is locus salavasana. Bring your chin forward, flip your palms down against the floor, elbows straight, lift your hips and roll your hips and bring your straight arms underneath you. Elbows might feel really uncomfortable, spread your 10 fingers wide. If your elbows are really bent, keep your elbows out to the side but try to straighten the arms. So chin forward, bring your legs together and then let your legs relax. Lock just your right leg, point your right toes, slowly lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle. Rolling your right hip down in opposition so the sole of the foot stays facing the ceiling. Push your arms and shoulders into the floor as you lift your leg. Lock the knee, point your toe, take the micro bend, that's beautiful, Jessica. Now we'll lift up a little bit higher, hold it there for two, one, slowly lower. It's a quick 10 seconds. Relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes, left leg up. Roll your hip down, lift your leg. Use your upper back straight, push shoulders into the floor. Lengthen the muscles of the leg, point your toe, calf muscle popping out, and then push your shoulders down and lift your leg up even higher. Leg up, leg up, hold it there. Release, lower it down, control, bring your mouth down on the towel, like you're kissing your towel, walk your hands a couple times closer down towards your knees. So you're inching those fingertips down towards your knees, bringing your shoulders more underneath you. Bring your feet together, heels touch, lock your knees, kneecaps up off the floor. Take a deep breath and exhale, both legs up. Push your body weight forward, bringing your shoulders down as you lift your legs up. Feet together, legs straight, and breathe. And keep struggling, keep working this posture. You're stronger than you think you are. Push your chest down, shoulders down. Now come up, legs up, lift up. And slowly with control, lower back down. Bring your arms out from underneath you. Look to the right, left ear on the towel. Relax, breathe, letting all that fresh blood into your elbows, your wrists. Good for the joints. And we'll go again, second set. Chin forward. So you have a nice long neck to start. Flip your palms down. Elbows straight. Lift your hips. Roll the hips. Bring your arms underneath your body and spread your ten fingers wide. Bring your legs together to start. Let them relax completely. Feel completely relaxed. And then lock just your right leg. Point your right toes. Right leg up for ten seconds. Nine. Hip down. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Leg in four. Three. Lift up till you feel it in your glute. Leg up. Lift up. Change. Lower. Relax it. Try not to use your opposite leg. Lock your left leg, point your left toes, the left leg. So you're using upper back strength. This is practice for both legs. So find those muscles you're gonna need. Push your shoulders down. Find your back strength. Leg up, leg up, lift up, hold nice and still. Change again. Bring your mouth down. Walk your hands a little closer down towards your knees. Most of the time you just have to tell yourself, yes, I can do this. I got this. Feet together, heels touch, lock your knees. Take a deep breath, both legs up. Without letting the legs bend or separate, shift the weight forward, push your shoulders down, mouth down, try to breathe. Straighten the legs more, come up even higher at the end, shoulders down, legs up, legs up, lift up, and slowly with control, lower back down. Arms come out, look to the left, right ear over towel, completely relax. Completely relax, let your eyes rest one spot. So breathe in and out through the nose. 
circulation returning through the body. So we've worked the lower spine, the upper spine, and back, and now we're going to work the mid thoracic spine, cordis cellulosum. Full locus, bring your chin forward, arms straight out to your side like you have your the knees. We're going to fly. Palms slap. Five fingers. You're going to squeeze your legs together. Imagine you have that cobra tail. Lock your knees. Good. Exhale. Squeeze your glutes. Inhale. Lift everything. Chest, legs, arms. Everything lifting up slow, like a 747 taking off. Lift your chest up. Lift the arms up, fingertips in line with the top of the head, a little bit, arms back. Squeeze your legs together, lock your knees, squeeze your glutes, lift your thighs up off the floor, lift your chest up off the floor, look to the ceiling, focus your eyes, breathe, chest up, legs up, lift up, and slowly lower back down. Fold in your wings, looking to the right, left ear on the towel, completely relax, letting the heart rate come down a little bit here before we start again. Lots of muscles in the back side of the body we're trying to find and access and use. Second step, chin forward. Arms out, palms flat, five fingers together. Squeeze your legs together. Lots of energy in the legs. Lock your knees. Exhale, squeeze glutes. Inhale, chest, legs, arms. Lift up, go up, come up. Establish your breath. Little sips of air. Look to the ceiling to relax your forehead. Don't add wrinkles. Lift the arms up. Squeeze through your legs together and lift your legs up off the floor. Yeah, a little shaking. Maybe lift your chest up off the floor. Keep breathing. Chest up, chest up. Go up, lift up. Slowly come down. Arms come in. Look to the left this time. Right ear on the towel. And again, relax. Notice the heart rate. Moving up and down, up and down. This is a really efficient way to work your heart and work the body. And finally, bow, down your asana. Now we work the whole spine. Bend your knees, grab your feet from the outside, right below your toes. So where your shoelaces would be, all five fingers together. Start with your knees together if you can. Bring your chin forward, point your toes. Take a deep breath and slowly begin to kick. Kick back and kick up, allowing the body to lift. Chest up, chin up, look up and kick up. Roll forward a little bit to the soft part of the belly, so toes in the center. Lift your chest, lift your chin, keep kicking. If the knees are coming apart a lot, bring those knees in six inches between the feet and the knees. Look to the ceiling, keep breathing, and then power up the legs. Squeeze your glutes. Kick straight up towards the ceiling as hard as you can. Just five more seconds, chest up, look up, kick and kick and kick. Slowly lower. Look to the right, left ear on the towel, toes touch, heels roll open, relax again. Letting the fresh circulation, blood move into the back of the spine completely. Squeezing organs in the back, stretching organs in the front. There's beautiful spinal compression. Very healing and very energizing. Second set, bend your knees. Grab your feet from the outside. A couple inches below the toes. Bring your chin forward and then start with the knees together. Point your toes. Take a deep breath and slowly start to kick. Kick back and kick up. It's a 20-second posture, so you're gradually working to get to your maximum. And breathe. Roll forward a little bit. Knees in, toes out, so six inches between the knees and the feet, and then lift your chest and lift your chin. So 360 degrees of back when you're using the power of the legs. Try to lift everything up to the ceiling. Now really power it up. Use your glutes. Kick from the glutes. Look to the ceiling and kick and kick and kick. Slowly come down. Nice work. Right here on the towel. Look to the left. Toes touch. Heels roll open and relax. That is your spine series. You renewed your spine. We have to do that on a regular basis. It affects the whole body. It affects our energy, our vitality, our nervous system. Can't get out of whack. We got to keep it all balanced. Hands underneath your shoulders. Push up off the towel any way you like, and then walk your knees up to the top of your mat for fixed firm suit to the dress. Now this is a progressive posture. Please go easy. If you have any knee issues going on, listen to your body. You start healing position. And then shift forward, open your feet and slide your hip, uh, bring your heels to the outsides of your hips and then slowly lower your hips down. If you need to open up the knees, open up the knees to relieve pressure off of the knees as much as you need to. Use your hands as support if your hips are on the floor. The next step, palms to the feet and you slowly go back, one elbow at a time. Lower elbow, elbow. Then the top of the head drops back to the floor as you're ready. Then the back of the head, and then the shoulders eventually come down and you're in this full recline position. At that point, bring your arms over your head. Grab your opposite elbows, pull your elbows down. Tuck your chin, look down with your eyes. And then just breathe, lifting the chest up. And then if you're feeling pretty good here, you can squeeze your knees together down to create a little more stretch through the quads. Breathe. 
Wonderful work, compression for the knees, stretching the quads, the feet, the ankles, the abdomen, if you're all the way back. And then to come out, bring your hands to the feet and carefully push yourself back up one elbow at a time. Come up to your hands and knees, turn around, relax on your back. The knees are a hard area to get fresh blood to, so that's what we're doing. Right here, all that fresh blood rushes back to the knees, helping to break up the heel scar tissue over time with practice. Let's do it again. Second set, toes touch, flex your feet, tight your seat muscles, arms over your head, arms and ears together. Inhale, dive with your toes. Double exhale. And let's go again. Turn around, come to the top of your mat, kneeling position. And your body can shift from set to set, so listen to your body. Open your feet, slide your hips down between your heels. Toes should point straight back, so feel free to check out those feet. Open the knees as you need to. Palms to the feet, fingertips forward, and you slowly go back, elbow, elbow, top of the head, back of the hips, shoulders. Stop anywhere along the way you need to today. Right? There should never be any pain in the knees. The knees should never come up off the floor. You're all the way back, arms over your head, pull your elbows down, lift your chest up, creating a back bend, a little bridge, and then breathe. Make sure you can breathe normally. That is the foundation of all of your yoga, movement, and breath. Palms to feet. Carefully come up one elbow at a time. Once you're clear, go all the way to the hands and knees, and then turn around Savasana. Relax. Scan your body. Notice the breath. Bring your feet together. Toes touch, flex your feet, tighten your seat muscles, arms over your head, lock your knees, inhale, dive for the toes. Double exhale, double stretch, turn around, come to the back of your mat, half tortoise, Ardha Pramasana. Kneeling position, this time knees and feet together, sit up tall. Inhale, arms over your head sideways, bring your palms together, cross just your thumbs, lock your elbows, reduce the back bend of your spine, belly in, glue your hips to your heels. Take an inhale, stretch up, and with a straight flat spine, you fold forward, nice and slow. Try to touch your forehead first if you can, and then your pinky fingers touch. Good work. Sink your hips down, stretch your arms, your shoulder forward. Squeeze your palms, lock your elbows, roll your wrists and your elbows up off the floor so it's just the nice edge of your pinky fingers that's touching the floor. Eventually your forehead will rest against the floor, maybe the nose might touch it, a long spine. And again, bringing all this wonderful, fresh, oxygen-rich blood to your brain. Breathe into the back of the lungs, stretching lower lungs as you sink the hips down and stretch your arms forward. Glue your hips to your heels, squeeze your knees, suck in your belly, lift your hands up. Inhale, come all the way back up, straight spine and come up. And at the top, exhale, arms down to your side, turn around, relax on your back. This is a rejuvenating posture. This is actually a posture you could do any time without having to be warmed up. Creates relaxation, rejuvenates the brain and body. Second set, toes together, flex your feet tight, your seat muscles, arms over your head, arms with your ears, inhale, sit up. Turn around, we go again, back of your back. Hips on your heels, sit up tall. Inhale, arms over your head. This posture also helps with insomnia. That's an issue you're having. Try this posture before you go to bed. Squeeze palms, lock your elbows, draw your belly in. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, fold forward. Slow your descent, maybe second set. Really building that good core strength. Touch forehead, pinky fingers, good. And again, as long as you spine, stretch your arms, shoulders forward, squeeze the palms, roll your wrists up off the floor, sinking hips down, reaching arms forward in opposition, and then just breathe too much to do. You're creating relaxation in the brain. Deepen your breath. Take another couple rounds of breath. And then glue your hips, squeeze your knees together, lift your hands up, inhale, reach forward as you come all the way back up. Take your time. Exhale, arms down at the top, turn around, relax on your back. beautiful anatomical position here where the blood can circulate through the entire body. Healing, gaining energy every time we come here. All right, we're at our climax of the floor series now. Toes together, flex your feet, seat muscles tight, arms over your head, lock your knees. Inhale, dive for your toes. 
Turn around for camel. Strasana, stand up on your knees. Six inches apart between your knees and your feet. So that's two fists. You can feel free to go ahead and measure that again. Then the standing up, tall hands on your lower back. Fingertips face down, elbows squeeze behind you. Squeeze your glutes tight. Take an inhale, lift your chest, and slowly push your hips forward, slowly drop your head back. Use your eyes to help you go a little further. Keep pushing your hips forward, keep pushing your hips forward. And then when you can see halfway down the back wall, if you're ready, you reach back one hand at a time for your heels, thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside. Always feel free to keep your hands on your lower back. As you inhale, lift your ribs up. Keep lifting up out of the lower back, creating space in the front side, this beautiful whole spine compression in the back. Push hips forward more. Push hips forward, look further. Eyes focus, breathe in and out through the nose. Hips forward, push. And one hand at a time comes back up. Carefully push yourself back up. Seat yourself, sit down on your heels. Turn around and relax. Completely relax. It's a big posture for the whole body. Stimulating the whole nervous system organs. Again, a very energizing posture. Let's do it again. Second set. Toes touch, flex your feet. Tighten your seat muscles. Arms over your head, arms with your ears. Inhale, sit up. <laughs> Turn around and again up on your knees. Now you can go a little bit wider. If you're feeling real tight today, go wider with the knees. Eight or ten inches with the knees, still six inches with the feet. Hands at your lower back, fingertips face down, elbows behind you. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your inner thighs again. Inhale, lift up, create space. You slowly push your hips forward. So think up and over. Drop your head back, let it go. Breathe in and out through the nose. Focus your eyes. And when and if you're ready, you can see about halfway down the wall you're looking at, you can reach back for your heels. If you've got the heels, try to pull on the heels. Inhale, lifting up. Push your stomach, hip size forward. Focus your eyes. Breathe in and out through the nose. Try to keep the mouth closed, teeth closed. Lifting ribs, chest up, push your hips forward, push your hips forward, back my foot a little bit, breathe, hips forward, push for three, two, one. One hand at a time comes up, carefully, mindfully push yourself up, take your time, sit back on your heels, take a breath maybe, and then when you're ready, relax the vasana, letting the circulation completely return. Notice the heart rate. We've done a lot of back bending. Our next posture is a counter, the perfect counter for all of that back bend. So we start to balance out the spine, bring your feet together, toes touch. Flex your feet tight, your seat muscles, arms over your head, arms and ears together. Inhale, sit up. Big <laughs> double exhale. Turn around, come towards the back of your mat. Grab it, Sasangasana. You can always feel free to use the towel. If you're not sweaty though, you may not need the towel, you'll find. And you grab your heels from the outside, thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside. Sit up tall. Inhale, lift your chest, tuck in your chin. Exhale, suck in your belly, curl in as tightly as you can. Go down and touch your forehead to the knees. And then the top of the head will start to touch the floor as you start to roll forward. Make sure you have a good grip on your heels. You start to roll forward, begin to pull on your heels. Roll forward to your arms are all the way straight, elbows are locked, but there's a gap between the forehead and the knees. Maybe you can inch the knees up just a little bit further. And then as you roll forward, very little weight is in your head and neck here. Use your arms, push your feet down, pull on your heels. Lift the shoulders up, suck in your belly, lift your hips up, belly in. Push down through the knees and feet. Don't lose the grip, pull on the heels, shoulders up. Very little weight in the head and neck, creating 300, this beautiful opening of the whole spine, each and every vertebra of the spine, hips up, pull. Belly in, hips up, pull, pull, and you slowly bring your hips back down, slowly restack your spine, take your time as you come up, chin is the last thing to come up, and when you're all the way out, turn around, relax in your back. We're working to create a little space between each and every vertebra of the spine, extending, lengthening, if you've been sitting a lot, punching over a computer, or watching a lot of TV, we've got to really decompress the spine. Cleans organs as well. Second set. Toes together. Flex your feet tight. Your seat arms over your head. Arms with your ears. Inhale. Sit up. Turn around. Move back of your towel. On your mat. 
Kneeling position, sit up tall in the middle. Grab your heels, again, thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside, sitting up straight. Inhale, lift your chest, tuck in your chin, exhale, you curl, curl, curl. Squeeze in. Touch your forehead to the knees, top of the head to the floor, roll forward until the arms are all the way straight. And then you can inch the knees up a little bit, eventually forehead and needle will be touching. As you roll forward, keep the weight very light in your head and neck. Lift the shoulders up, suck your stomach in. Keep rolling, keep pulling. Try to picture your spine. You're opening up each and every vertebra of the spine. Keep the feet pressing down. Try to bring your heels together so your fingernails touch. Hips up, pull. Belly in, push down through the knees. Hips up, pull. Hips up, pull. Slowly bring your hips back down. Take your time as you come up one vertebra at a time. Chin is the very last thing to come up. Take a breath. Turn around, relax on your back. All that fresh, high-speed blood rushing into the front side. body down, get you ready for the rest of your day. Whatever ahead of you. Toes together. Strong sit up. Let your feet to your face, arms over your head, arms and ears together. Inhale, sit up. <laughs> Spin around, facing front. Stretch your right leg out towards the right corner of your mat and bring your left foot in towards your inner thigh as high as it goes. So heel touching inner thigh legs. If you look down, you should make a 90 degree angle. Bring your arms over your head, interlace your fingers. Inhale, stretch up, turn, twist over your right leg. Look down and grab your foot right below your toes. Even if you have to bend the knee a lot to grab your foot, go ahead, bend the knee. Ten fingers interlace, pull, tuck your chin and touch your forehead to the knee. And again, bend the knee as much as you need to. Forehead and knee touch. Begin to pull. Roll your left shoulder down so the two shoulders parallel to the floor. Kick out through the heel, pull, flex your foot in towards you at the ankle so you learn to stretch your Achilles tendon calf muscle. Suck your stomach and drag your forehead higher on the knee. Push your forward into the knee as you pull. Elbows come down with your calf muscles. Eyes open. Breathe here. Change. Inhale. Come up. Switch your legs. Left leg out. Right leg heel. All the way up the inner thigh legs. 90 degrees. Arms over your head. Stretch up. Turn. Twist over your left leg. Go down and grab your foot. Ten fingers interlace. A couple inches below the toes. Pull. Tuck your chin. Touch your forehead to the knee. And again, you might need to bend the knee a lot. And if you have a regular practice, you may need to bend it more than you normally do, but touch your forehead to the knee, not your nose or your eyebrows. Bring your right shoulder down so you're leveling the shoulders to the floor, getting maximum pressure to the organs. Kick out through the heel, pull, flex your foot in. Suck in your belly, breathe, eyes open, pushing forward to the knee. You're gradually working to straighten your left leg. Once your leg is eventually straight, you might even flex that heel right up off the floor. Change. Inhale, come up. Bring your both legs out in front of you. Lie down on your back. And just do a quick sit up. As soon as your arms touch, sit right back up. Realigning the spine. Grab your big toes with your index finger and your middle finger. Walk your hips as you start to pull in your toes. Walk your hips back. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Getting the hips behind you. Getting off onto off the fleshy stuff onto the backs of the legs more. Bring your feet together so your toes, your ankles are touching. So look at your feet if you don't have them here. Try to flatten your feet, pinky toes back. Bring your big toes together. Sit up tall, lift your chest, lift your chin, take a deep breath, then bend the elbows and bring your belly to your thighs, chest to your knees, stretching forward. Then you can look towards your toes and try to get the forehead towards your toes. Breathe and pull. Keep pulling, flexing the feet and at the ankle, pushing your legs down little by little, working towards straightening the legs. Once your legs are straight, contract your quads, your heels might even lift up off the floor. And then keep bending the elbows, bringing belly forward, Chest forward, chin forward, looking forward towards your toes. Maybe one day you touch your forehead to your toes. Breathe here for three, two, one, release. Turn around, relax on your back. All of our sit-ups, if you've been doing the sit-ups and that little final stretch in the sit-up, is preparing you for this final stretch. Your body's ready. Very warm, toes together. Flex your feet tight, your seat arms over your head, arms and ears together. Inhale, sit up. And we'll go again. Turn around, right leg up, left leg in, makes 90 degrees. Look down if you need to, make sure. Arms over your head, interlace your fingers. Inhale, stretch up, turn, twist over your right leg. Try to line your spine right over the leg. Grab your foot a couple inches below the toes. Tuck your chin, touch your forehead to the knee. This compression, our final compression here. Suck in your belly, choke the throat, squeeze your thyroid. Parathyroid, roll in, left shoulder down, 
elbows with your calves. Fire up those biceps. Kick out through the heel. Pull and breathe for three, two, one. Slowly come up. Switch your legs. It's just a quick 10 second posture. Right leg in, left leg out. Arms over your head. Interlace fingers stretch up. Turn twist over your left leg. Go down, grab your foot. And again, try and go align the spine over the leg. Touch your forehead exactly to the knee. Push the forehead into the knee. Kick out through the heel and pull. It's a strong, active posture. You're squeezing those organs. Right shoulder down, trying to balance blood sugars here at the end. Suck your stomach in, get the forehead higher. Push your forehead in the knee. See if you can straighten the leg a little bit more. If the leg straightens, you might place that heel up off the floor. Elbows down, breathe and pull. Inhale, come up, both legs out in front of you. Lie on your back, do a quick sit up as soon as your arms touch. <laughs> Hook onto the big toes. And walk it back, right left, right left, right left. Walk it back a few more times than you think you need to. And then bring your feet together, toes, ankles touching, flatten the feet, pinky toes back, figuring out what muscles that is. Lift your chest, lift your chin, take a deep breath, bend the elbows and stretch your upper body across your legs. So thinking of your legs as the stretching rack of your spine, bringing your belly towards your thighs, chest towards your knees, stretching forward, trying to touch the forehead to your toes. Breathe here. And just stretching under your legs. Breathe here, pull and breathe. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, you go a little bit deeper. Exhale. Breathe, push down through the legs. Maybe you lock your knees. Maybe you lift your heels. Stretch forward for three, two, one. Release. Turn around, relax on your back. and balance even more. Toes together, flex your feet tight, your seat arms over your head. Inhale, dive for your toes. And then sit, turn, uh, quarter turn to your right. Bend your left knee on the floor in front of you. Take your right heel across the very top corner kneecap so the heel touches with the knee. Why don't you face forward, Justin, just so that we can see your body a little bit more for you. Awesome. And as you sit up tall, try to level your hips on the floor. Make sure you're not sitting on your heel. Bring your right hand behind you at the base of your spine. Fingertips face away from you. Sit up as tall as you can. Inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Push your knee back with your elbow. And then turn your wrist. You might even be able to grab the knee on the floor. And if you can't grab the knee, maybe you grab the towel or the mat. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, sit up straight. Look over your right shoulder and start to twist your whole spine. Twisting, twisting each and every vertebra of the spine. Little by little, go your right hip down. It's coming up off the floor. As you inhale, draw your belly in and sit up as tall as you can. Keep drawing in the belly and keep twisting little by little, twisting each and every vertebra of the spine. If you don't need that back hand, you can always feel it free. You can lift your back hand up, reach around behind you for your inner thigh. You're folding. Lead a little bit more with your right shoulder. Look further with your eyes behind you as you twist your whole spine top to bottom. Twist and twist and twist. Slowly unwind. And then switch up your legs. Right knee down. Left heel touching with the kneecap, left foot flat on the floor. So the heel is not in the middle of the thigh, it's all the way up to the kneecap, getting the left foot flat, and then try to get both hips on the floor. One side might be easier than the other. Point your right toe so you're not sitting on your heel. Bring your left hand behind you, sit up tall, right at the base of your spine. Stretch your right arm up and over, push your knee back with your elbow. Turn your hand, maybe you grab the kneecap, or maybe the towel or the mat. And as you inhale, sit up as tall as you can, create lots of space and length, look over your left shoulder, and you slowly, gently start to twist your whole spine. Bringing everything out, think of those internal organs, getting a good squeeze, your whole spine twisting top to bottom. Roll your left hip down. Keep your right knee on the floor as best you can. Inhale, drawing in that lower belly, sit up a little bit taller, create the space, and then look further, lead with your left shoulder as you twist. Whole spine twisting top to bottom. Keep breathing. Twist and twist and twist. And slowly unwind. Relax on your back. Savasana. Beautiful. And that completes the series. You worked through every system of the body, bringing balance to all of the systems to create this whole package of health, vitality, and wellness. So we start with the breathing exercise. We're going to finish with Kapovati, our final cleansing. Bring your, uh, so last sit up, toes touch, flex your feet, tighten seat, arms over your head. Inhale, sit up. Turn around, sit heel in position one more time. Hips on your heels, hands on your knees. Sit up tall. 
and let the belly relax and let the shoulders relax. We're gonna exhale out through the mouth, pumping in the belly strong, exhale 60 times. Focus your eyes one spot. Ready, low. Savasana. Relax, close your eyes, spread yourself a little wider. Stay here until your body returns to normal. Your circulation, your heart rate, until everything returns to normal. I thank you again for joining us wherever you're at in your house, wherever you're at in your life. Be well. Stay with your joy, your peace. Don't let anyone steal your peace. Namaste. Namaste.